video, we'll find the equations of lines when we're given dis different information about those lines. In the first problem, we're asked to find the equation of a line that passes through the point 0, 8 and has a slope of negative 3. We've been given the y-intercept. I know this point is the y-intercept because the x value is 0. So I know the y-intercept and I know the slope of the line is negative 3. So I will select to use the slope-intercept form of a line, y equals mx plus b. m stands for the slope of a line, and b is the y-intercept of the line. So all I need to do is plug those values in. m is negative 3, and b is 8. So the equation of the line with slope negative 3 and y-intercept 8 is y equals negative 3x plus 8. In this problem, we want to find the equation of a line with slope 5 that passes through 3, 7. Again, I've been given the slope. We know the slope is 5. But this time, I've been given a point that is not the y-intercept. It is just a generic point on the line, over 3, up 7. So this time, I'm going to use the point-slope form of a line. y equals m times x minus x1 plus y1 where m is the slope of the line, and x1, y1 is a point on the line. So in this case, I will plug in the slope of 5, and I'll plug in the point. So I'll have x minus 3 plus 7. Notice how I plug the point in right here. X minus the x value of the point, close the parentheses, plus the y value of the point. So the equation of a line that passes through the point 3, 7 and has slope 5. You can rewrite this if you prefer. You could distribute the 5 to get 5x minus 15 and plus 7, and then simplify to get y equals 5x minus 8. And now I've rewritten that equation in slope-intercept form. Number three, we want to find the equation of a line given in this graph. I see the graph passes through a few different points that have been labeled. The point 0, negative 3, the point 1, 2, and the point 2, 7. To find the equation of the line, I will need the slope of the line. Remember that slope is change in y over change in x. So on this line, if I start at one point on the line and travel to another point on the line, I will start, for example, at 0, negative 3 and travel to the point 1, 2. I travel over 1 and then I travel up 5. So the change in y was positive 5, the change in x was positive 1. So the slope of this line is 5. I then observe that I have the y-intercept of this line. The point on the graph where the line crosses the y-axis is the point 0, negative 3. So that is my y-intercept. So I could write that this equation is y equals 5x minus 3. Alternatively, you could write the equation of this line using point-slope form. Slope times x minus the x value of a point plus the y value of that point. So here I plugged in the point 1, 2. That would be all right too for the equation of this line. And alternatively, I could use y equals 5 times x minus 2 plus 7. All of these are equations for that line. The first is written in slope-intercept form, and these are written in point-slope form. Find an equation of the line in the graph below. So in this case, again, I've been given two points labeled on this graph. I need to find the slope of the line first. So again, remember slope is change in y over change in x. So I will write that as y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So I have 5 minus 7, the y value of this point minus the y value of the first point, divided by 
negative 4 minus negative 8. Y va X value of the second point minus X value of the first point. Simplify to get negative 2 over 4, which is negative 1 half. So the slope of this line is negative 1 half. I have two points on the line. Neither of them are the x of the, are the y intercept. So I'm going to use point slope form to write the equation of this line. Remember y equals m times x minus x1 plus y1. m is the slope and then you plug in a point x1 comma y1. So I'm going to plug in the slope negative one half and then I'm going to have x minus negative 8 plus 7. And we should rewrite that, simplify a little bit. It's y equals negative 1 half, x plus 8 plus 7. That was using the point negative 8 comma 7 to write the equation of the line. Alternatively, you could have used the other point, y, the negative 4 comma 5. So I would write y equals negative 1 half, x minus negative 4 plus 5. So here I plugged in the slope and I plugged in the point negative 4 comma 5 and simplify a little bit. We get y equals negative 1 half x plus 4 plus 5. Both of these equations are written in point slope form. But again, you are always free to simplify that down if you like and rewrite it in slope intercept form. In this case, if I distribute the negative one half, I'll have y equals negative one half x minus two plus five, which simplifies as negative one half x plus three. And again, in this case, over here, I have y equals negative one-half x minus four plus seven, which simplifies down as y equals negative one-half x plus three. So both equations written in point-slope form, if you distribute that slope and simplify, you can rewrite it in slope-intercept form, and you observe the slope-intercept form of the line is equivalent. Lastly, let's find the equation of the line that passes through the point negative 3, negative 8, and the point negative 15, negative 20. Again, we always want to start by finding the slope of the line. So change in y over change in x. Let's take negative 20 minus negative 8, all divided by negative 15 minus negative 3, so that is negative 20 plus 8 over negative 15 plus 3, which is negative 12 over negative 12, which simplifies down to just 1. So the slope of this line is 1. I have two points on the line. Neither of those points are the y-intercept. So I will select to use the point-slope form of a line to write the equation of this line. One. Here I plug in the slope and here I plug in a point on the line. I have two points on the line in this case, so I could either write this line as 1 times x minus negative 3 minus 8, plugging in the point negative 3, negative 8, or I could write y equals 1 times x minus negative 15 minus 20, plugging in the slope and the, the point negative 15, negative 20. Both should be simplified a bit. That's 1 times x plus 3 minus 8. And this is y equals 1 times x plus 15 minus 20. And again, keep in mind, you can, if you want to, rewrite your point slope form in slope intercept form. If you distribute the one and simplify, you find that this is y equals x minus five. And again, this one is also y equals x minus five.